so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this animated water using the blender and that trick will work ev and cycle both engine so now without any further delay let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys i have used some note to making this water this is totally procedure method to make a water and i'll also use uh, some um, node like uh, like a mapping node to create a animation here so how i did this so i'm just going to show you here and right now here you can see it's looking very cool here and you can use this effect uh, ev and cycle as well so right now i'm going to use the ev for that here you can see it's looking cool okay so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i'm just going to delete everything pressing the a and then i will just press the delete and then i will just add one plane here and going to scale this plane something like this and after that i will apply the scale then I will go to my shading panel and from here I will add one new nodes and this is called principal BSDF and after that uh, we have to add some other nodes so first of all we will add a noise texture and after that uh, I will add one more uh, node it's called bump node and then I will just plug this color to the height and after that I will plug this bump to the normal so before plugging this node to the normal I will just increase the transmission value and decrease the roughness value so here you can see right now that plane is looking very much reflective okay so then I will just plug this normal to the normal and now here you can see we can see some exaggeration in our plane okay it looks like our water ripples and now if I will play the animation so here you can see we can't see any kind of uh, water animation here because we need to add some extra node here so which node we have to add basically so first of all we have to add one mapping node it's called mapping yeah that node basically and I'm just going to a uh, little bit stretch it something like that so I will just connect this vector to vector then I will add one more node it's called UV node and uh, and it will maintain the uh, UVs to our plane so I will just plug this one to the vector first one okay then uh, right now here you can see we can't see any kind of changes if I will play the animation that that will be not also play but we have to do one more thing here so what we have to do we have to just uh, copy those nodes noise and uh, noise texture and mapping nodes I'm just going to do copy pressing the shift D and then I will just plug this UV again this vector here and from here I will add one uh, node it's called mix RGV yeah mix RGV and I will just plug it in between here just I will just plug this color to the color okay and now I will just change some strength and values from here so I will just increase the scale about 12 I think 12 is fine and if you increase the detail so it will look like an ocean water here you can see but I'm just going to keep this detail to uh, by default okay and same value we will put here we can put 10 as well and we can put uh, 12 as well okay and same thing that detail will work here also okay so I'm just going to keep this by default and after that we'll change some uh, strength value so I will just keep it uh, I think 3 is fine to me yeah I think 3 is fine and we can decrease the distance so I think that much distance is fine to me yeah but still if I will play the animation we can't see any kind of animation here so what we have to do for making this animation so now I'm just going to keep my uh, slider to one frame yeah and then I will just hover my mouse to the this location bar and I will press the I then I will do same thing here I will hover my mouse to the X location and then I will press the I okay and after that I will go to the my um, 25th frame and then I will just increase the value 0 0.05 and uh, then I will press the I again and same thing I will do on the Y section 0 0.50 and then I will press the I again so now if I will play the animation so here you can see we can see the animation our water and uh, from here we can uh, decrease the scale value here you can see if you want to keep it 10 so it will keep 10 if you want to uh, decrease the strength so you can decrease the strength so here you can see 
so you can control from the here and if you want to increase the detail so it will look like a ocean water we need to just increase the detail to both nodes okay so I'm not I'm just going to keep it default by the way right now and here you can see now we have a procedural and animated water and if you want to keep this on a loop so you can just press the T here and you have to just uh, keep it this base here so that's how you can create a animated water using the uh, blender and that will be worked EV and cycle both engine if I will change my engine to cycle so it will work here as well here you can see if I will just switch my rendering mode and if I will email enable my uh, viewport denoising so from here you can see it will work it here as well so that's how you can create a animated water using the blender with the help of nodes and uh, this is totally procedural process to create a water and uh, that's it for this tutorial guys so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys